This morning, a small team of chemists and mechanical engineers from Montana is celebrating a major victory. They won the Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize. The team, Sunburst Sensors, developed a chemical sensor to monitor the health of our oceans. X Prize competitions and their giant paydays are designed to jumpstart innovation. X Prize started with an audacious idea focus the planet's brightest minds on its biggest problems and encourage innovation through prize competition. The inaugural challenge was announced in 1996, $10 million to the privately financed team that launched a reusable craft capable of carrying passengers into space. Its success ignited today's $2 billion private sector space industry. Since then, XPRIZE has awarded more than $27 million and facilitated real change. In 2010, the creation of the first affordable car to manage more than 100 miles per gallon. A year later, in response to the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, technology that skims oil from the ocean surface at quadruple the industry's previous pace. And now, the $2 million Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize. For two years, teams from around the world competed to develop an affordable sensor to identify and measure ocean acidity. High acidity threatens marine life and the climate. And Wendy Schmidt is the benefactor behind her namesake prize. She has donated nearly $600 million to environmental research. Peter Diamandis is the chairman and CEO of X Prize. Good morning to both of you. We love innovation at this <laughs> yes. table. We love smart things like this. Wendy, let's talk about that. Why is an acidic ocean so dangerous? Why is it your passion? This is a really important issue because 30% of the emissions that we put into the atmosphere are absorbed into the oceans. We're changing the chemistry of the ocean, and that changes all life in the oceans. It makes it hard for shellfish to make their shells. It destroys our coral reefs. I know we, we're very attached to the oceans. Two billion people get their primary source of protein from the oceans. We get more than half of the oxygen we breathe from the oceans, more than all the rainforest combined. And about three billion people rely on the oceans for their livelihood. So this is an essential thing for people to understand that we're very connected. Yeah, it's a big deal. And six hundred million dollars of your own money says you are serious about this, Wendy. <laughs> but, but Peter, let's talk about the winning company, Sunburst Systems. Only nine employees, so they're a little company when you yep. really think about it. What they do that blew you away? Well, we had seventy teams that entered the competition. Eighteen delivered hardware, and what Sunburst uh, sensors out of Montana, landlocked Montana, did was build technology that is 10, actually 10 to 15 times cheaper than anything else before, uh, has gone down to extraordinary depths, 3,000 meters, 10,000 feet, and is able to accurately uh, measure the pH. And you know, unless you can measure something, you can't change it. And we don't know what's going on in our oceans, which is the scary part about it, because what we do in the next 10 years affects the next 10,000 years. So understanding it, being able to measure it, and being able to make a difference really matters to all of us, to my kids, to all of our families. Wendy, what's the status of the deep water, BP deep water horizon oil spill? The status of the spill, they're still finding oil coming up onto the shores. These things have a very long tail. You see the effects of oil spills 40 and 50 years out from when they've occurred. So happily, the sensor, uh, the uh, cleanup technology that we, we uh, brought forth in the uh, competition that ended in 2011 is out there and deployed to help clean up spills faster. 600% faster than 600 ever before. 600% faster, and that's the incentive prize system. So it's, it's been 10 years since you released the first prize. Has your goal changed? Now, our goal is finding problems on the planet that are, uh, have market failures, that are stuck. What should we be able to solve that we're not? And we put up these large cash prizes. Wendy has put up $2 million for this last Ocean Health. We have a $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. We have a $15 million prize funded by Elon Musk for global learning around the world. And so we put up these prizes and ask innovators uh, to solve them. And we say, we don't care where you're from, where you went to school, you solve this problem, you win the cash, we all win a better world. And so it's a model for driving it. And, uh, and folks want to you know, tell us where to go, go to xprize.org and share your ideas of where we should be launching xprizes. It's such a genius idea. It's it simple. really, really is to, to find innovation for these great yeah. causes. Yeah. We have the creativity of so many young people. We had teams from all over the place. We had a high school team from Carmel, California, mm -hmm. who crowdsource funded for their team. And one of their moms was their coach. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's always good when your passion can lead to cash. I think that's always 
always a good thing. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you both. Wendy Schmidt and Peter Diamandis, we thank you again. You were watching CBS This Morning.